Hey there, Amanda here. Let's talk about chocolate chip cookies. I know everyone has their favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, and I feel like I've tried hundreds of different recipes for chocolate chip cookies, but I think I have found the all-time perfect chocolate chip cookie. Let me show you how to do it. So there's really two important steps, well, two important kind of techniques and ingredients for my chocolate chip cookies. So first, I only use egg yolks. I don't use the whites of the eggs. And by using just egg yolks, I found that you kind of get that perfect medium of the crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside chocolate chip cookie. And then the next one is, this sounds a little weird, but I, after I make the batter for the chocolate chip cookies, I let them hang out in the fridge for about 24 hours. That helps to hydrate the dough and kind of get a better consistency in your cookie. You can even let it hang out in your fridge for up to 72 hours before baking them off. I mean, in my house, I don't think the cookie dough will last 72 hours, but try it for 24 hours and it'll make a completely different cookie. The difference is, is it browns more evenly and it has kind of like more of a caramel depth of flavor to the cookie. I promise, it is like a gold technique. Okay, so let's get started. I have a stand mixer. You could also use a hand mixer for this if you don't have a stand mixer. And you can also do it by hand, but it just takes a lot of elbow grease. Um, so I'm gonna add two sticks of unsalted butter that's at room temperature. Okay, to that, I'm gonna add one and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Today I'm using light brown sugar, but you could also use dark brown sugar if you have it at home. Whatever you have in the cupboard is great. And then we're gonna cream this together. Okay, so my butter is creamed together. You basically want it to be kind of light and fluffy, and that's when you know that the butter is incorporated with the sugar. So to this, I'm gonna add the four egg yolks. I wish I could take credit for this egg yolk technique, but I can't. Um, Pierre and May, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but he is a baker out of Paris and he has one of the most amazing bakeries in Paris. He actually um, kind of honed this technique. So that's where I learned this from and he has incredible cookies. So I just, so I can't take credit for the only egg yolks, but I can just encourage everyone to only use egg yolks because they're really good. And then one tablespoon of vanilla extract and just combine that together. Okay, so next up are our dry ingredients. I like to combine all of my dry ingredients together before putting them in there. That kind of makes sure it's well incorporated. So I've got one and three-fourths cup of just regular all-purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure you add the salt. The salt is kind of what's gonna give more of a depth of flavor to these cookies. Um, and it's also gonna bring out more of the sweetness and the flavor if you have salt. So don't skimp on the salt. I know it seems counterintuitive. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda, making sure that it's well incorporated. And then we're gonna just gently put it into the wet mixture. With the mixer on low, just stir to combine. You don't wanna over stir these or else the gluten and the flour will make it tough. So just basically stir it for a couple seconds until it's combined. Making sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom and then we're gonna add our chocolate chips. So today I'm using a mixture of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then I also had some bar milk chocolate that I chopped up. I like the combination. I think I might be the only person that actually loves milk chocolate, so I like having milk chocolate in my cookies, but if you wanted to do bittersweet, kind of dark chocolate, you could do that as well. And more chocolate never hurt anyone, right? Stir that until it's combined, and then we're gonna give it one mix with the spatula, and then into the refrigerator for 24 hours it goes. And feel free to taste along the way too. When I was little, I just could eat. Well, I blame it on when I was like a kid, but I'm pretty sure I could just eat nothing but cookie dough. It is like a weakness. Okay, so my cookie dough is going into the fridge for about 24 hours. I'm just gonna cover it with some saran wrap and then into the refrigerator it goes. Okay, so my dough has been resting and now I'm ready to bake them. So I'm using an ice cream scoop today. I like using an ice cream scoop because it equally portions things out. Um, you could also use just two spoons ice cream scoops just make it easier. One of the things that I love to do is to give people, especially friends that are having babies or that are just need to like kind of a little extra love, I'll make cookie dough, I'll make it to this stage, put it on a sheet tray like this, and then actually freeze it. And so once it's frozen, you can put it into a plastic bag and then give it away as gifts, and people can actually just cook off one or two cookies at a time. I mean, it's dangerous to have in your freezer, but it's pretty nice to always know that there's like a cookie 10 minutes away maybe? I don't know, at least for me it's nice to know that there's always a, a cookie 10 or 15 minutes away. This is one of the most important steps. We're gonna put flaky sea salt right on top. That's what kind of takes these cookies from really good to like out of this world delicious. Okay, so these are ready to go into the oven. I've got a 350 degree oven preheated and they're gonna go in for about 15 to 17 minutes until they're golden brown. My cookies are done and they smell amazing. So I let them cool slightly um, and they're ready to be eaten. So let me just show you how perfect they are. So they're nice and crispy on the outside and they're still nice and chewy on the inside. It's kind of the perfect cookie. Well, I have to give them a taste, right? You have to make sure that they're, they're good. 
Mm, so good. The brown sugar makes it more of like a caramel molasses flavor. And the texture of just the egg yolks, like I can't recommend it enough. So next time you try your chocolate chip cookies, make sure you only use egg yolks. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos that I upload every week.